Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat, back with another video. In this video, we're going to cover a whole heap of updates and uh, stuff with, that we're doing with the play to earn games. I'm also going to reveal a new play to earn game. Okay, so this one's still fairly early. There's still time to get in on this one because it's uh, it's only about three days old. So there's still time to get in on this one, and I'm about 65%. Uh, ROI on it so I'll, I'll ROI probably tomorrow so I'll talk more about that and also I want to talk about a new NFT project there's about to launch you still got time to get in on this one I think it's gonna be a banger so let's roll that intro let's get into the video hey guys welcome back to the channel you know what to do if you like the content hit that subscribe button if you don't, don't hit the subscribe button. So let's just start on Spaceport. I did a update video in my last video, and I said that they were scrapping the game or they were getting rid of the game. That information is incorrect, so my apologies. I actually thought that they were going to get rid of this game and they're going to install, like, have a new game. But no, they're having a new updates on the current game. So they have this uh, new Elon God. Uh, you fight this Elon type of spaceship. Um, I played against it once. I didn't destroy it. I just left. And but if you destroy it, you get five hundred thousand points. They've also adjusted the uh, ratio of what you get paid. I did receive a lot of comments saying I was fighting about the game. No, I was not fighting about the game. That would be the last thing I would do. I just got the information wrong, so I'll be the first to admit it. I'm a bag holder just like you. Why would I fight on the game? It makes no sense because I'd only be fighting on my own bags. And by fighting, it would bring the price down. So that's pretty silly. I play this game every day. I think it's pretty awesome. It's definitely getting harder now to win. And you're going to need more money, basically. To earn so let's just go and have a look at the change logs they've updated the game they're improving the uh, mobile ver uh, experience this Elon Musk boss it's like a face of Elon with the, on a spaceship and you've got to defeat it and even when that comes out there's like another spaceship that comes out on the side of the screen there's like two spaceships firing at you um, so it's definitely got it's definitely getting harder you need to hold a minimum of fifty dollars so basically these updates are kind of like squeezing out the people that have little money in this it's going to make it harder and the minimum payout is two dollars for those people or the people that hold just fifty dollars uh is the minimum and then the minimum pay is two dollars so if you've made like one dollar you're not going to get paid okay basically they have changed the earning rate Dramatically increased uh, maximum earning cap is now five dollars and the maximum cap to earnings per day is only two hundred dollars. All right. So based off this, it means that you only got to hold. Well, you only really need to hold four thousand dollars in SPC because five percent of that is two hundred dollars. And that's the maximum you're going to earn anyway. So they have capped it okay but I said here these changes uh, will ensure the long-term stability of the earning system project will not just be around for three months and i reckon that's pretty cool they obviously want this to be long term it's worth having a read of the frequent asked questions We've got a lot of information here which, you know if you're not sure you should read this because it definitely um helps you understand the game better and there's a lot of updates okay so that's spaceport D-Ball is currently down for maintenance because they're going to implement the marketplace and need to update everything. I'm not sure how this marketplace will go because uh, I believe that you better use your in-game, like your earnings to buy the claw and um, the armor. But from the people that are in our Patreon group, no one's really got any concrete information at the moment probably because the game has been down but yeah basically you know if you're going to spend d-ball on armor and the claw and whatever levels that you buy it at is it going to benefit you and get more rewards so basically like they've said if you buy these 
you're going to increase your rewards that you could, that when you know when you fight and you win those rewards are going to be increased so i haven't seen any evidence yet if you have got the armor and the claw and you played and it has increased please comment below and let us know how much or what you bought and how much it increased because at the moment i'm not convinced to buy this because simply because uh it's just not worth it i just rather cash out and probably the other pet hate that a lot of people are kind of upset about is also the 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 price of deer ball to get in it's not much at all it's you know when we paid when, we, when i started to play in this game it was 21 deer ball all right it was like 20 it was like 19 point something deer ball to like get an egg or a character or whatever and then you need to throw the character or basically hatch it and that was another deer ball so it came up to about 21 deer ball and back then deer ball was 20 bucks or something of that something to that effect so it was it was expensive. It was over four hundred dollars for a character. Now you can get into it for much much less. So I don't know how that's benefited the, uh, the old people that first played this game. But I think they're just trying to get more people, and they lower the price. Then people will buy characters. Who knows? But look, at the end of the day, I mean, it's this game is going to be feasible, and it's going to pay, and it's going to be more than gas. So people are just oh, this is just going to be another crypto blades where it's just not even worth playing because it doesn't even cover the gas i think it gets to that point it's not going to be worth playing so for me it's still feasible because it's you know still paying but it's it's like hanging on a, on a on a thread at the moment so we'll see what happens with this marketplace let me know your thoughts below with uh d-ball okay Binamon, they just uh released the game we were very happy to release the first Binamon play to earn game so this is big things for binamon they're saying that um that this could be the next axie uh who knows i'm still holding tokens i'm not playing the game at this point so i'll just continue to uh, watch the progress of this uh game and uh, hopefully some big things can come so then the price can go up crypto hounds i've been playing this only for about what, 36 hours or 38 hours yeah about 38 hours i've been playing this game in my opinion it's still uh, worth picking up, but if you're watching this video like days after I upload this, it's it's probably gonna, not going to be worth it because you got to get in these things early. So basically, I bought 600 of these uh, CTH tokens, and you need 500 to hatch uh, to get the egg, and you need, also need 25 if you don't want to wait 12 hours. So basically. 525 but there's a tax uh on the actual uh when you buy your tokens so if you buy 525 you're not going to get 525 you're probably only going to get 495 so you need to buy more to cover the tax it's about five or seven percent because i bought 600 and i only got 564 okay so just you know add like seven percent eight percent extra on top so you buy this egg you hatch it for 25 cth if you don't want to wait 12 hours and so for my so far my results is i got this pet here so it's a corgi it's like a rank three so it's it's better than average um so it's a pretty good rank and yeah i've been playing it for about 38 hours so a day and a half and so far i've made as you can see up the top here reward 406 tch so i'm yeah you know, i remember i paid 525 to get in this so i'm probably i don't know do the maths on it 65 percent uh recovered my funds recover my seed and it's been about 38 hours so in my opinion i think that uh it's it's been good so far again you know timing with everything see if i down the bottom if i claim my tokens i want to get hit with 20 percent fee so i don't want to do that i want to wait simply because there's no need to 
take the 20% fee because it's not urgent, right? Because it's only a new game. If the price of this was dumping, then I would just take the 20% hit, okay? Pay the tax. So when you buy your egg, you, you hatch it, and then you just come along to hunt. And I can't actually hunt at the moment because I don't have... You need a minimum of 40 ma mana to actually to actually fight. So we get 200 mana a day, which will give you enough for five what they call hunts or battles, okay? Um, so these the, this is the marketplace. So, you know... Currently, my pet would be worth this one here, about 990 CTH. If I sold it, like, right now, the power's about the same as well. So, yeah, it's it's gone up in value if I sell it as well. So, I would say that if you're into this, it's pretty much like Crypto Blades, Crypto Zune, same sort of deal, right? It's just a different type of concept and theme. You just buy the pet and then you battle, right? Same deal, right? You pick one, level one, level two, level three, whatever, okay? And then you can battle. Pretty much exactly like D-Ball. So I would say it's very, still pretty early. Um, but you, if you wanted to get in on this, you'd have to do it like right now. If you wait a day, um, it's just my opinion on this. I, I think the longer you wait, the less chances of getting your uh, seed back okay you got to get your seed back okay very important these games don't last forever okay but you can make some good money beforehand okay so crypto hounds that's at crypto hounds dot finance uh, I'll put the link below if you're interested and just the usual stuff crypto zoom is back up uh block creatures is back up yeah plan to earn still up um yeah just the usual stuff which i covered before so there's nothing really to report on those and lastly this is an nfc project okay now it's my pet hate it's on ethereum okay so i i don't like ethereum i don't like using ethereum because of the gas fees but you know who, who knows i might have to come around to it right now nfts are hot people are making a lot of money on nfts okay right now there's seven hours to go with this one and uh we just started doing nfts in our patreon group so it is a new thing but we're slowly getting a hang around it mainly on solana but also there's a lot of opportunities on OpenSea, which is ethereum which is pretty much pretty much where you know nfc started on the ethereum blockchain so this simple mermaids okay there's 10,000 oh sorry 9969 they generally have a limited edition and as you can see here you know it's like the typical sort of nfts they have different features different rarities colors hair so forth okay and each one is different uh you you, you can mint them uh, when this thing goes live it isn't live yet okay so if you want to get on the pre-sale there'll be a link below click on that and that'll take you to the discord then click on the disc uh pre-sale and you're about to get access to this before anyone else okay so by the time i upload this video you might see this countdown to about five hours if you happen to watch my video within the first hour it's uploaded okay so you still got time I think that this is going to do well. And the reason being is they have got over 10,000 already in the Discord. And um, let's see here. See, they've got 10,000 in the Discord and they've got online, they've got 1.86 thousand. So I think that this is going to, it's going to sell out. Okay, so you've got to be quick on this one. And then generally what happens from what I've seen is that um, it says here it's going to be like 24 hours before it's revealed. Most of these entities, they do this. They just You just buy them and um, you won't be able to see them for 24 hours. And then they will open all at once. right? And generally speaking, once you get the NFT and then you, if you want to sell it, you can just go on uh, OpenSea. Right, go to the official OpenSea uh, account 
and then you're bound to sell it, okay? And generally speaking, the really popular ones that have a lot of following and a lot of interest and they sell out really quick, they generally do a 2 to 3x when they go on OpenSea. So everyone's, once people have got it, they've minted it on the website. So basically treat this like an ICO or an IDO, right? They buy it at the pre-sale. Then when it goes live to the public, then the public can buy it because obviously they, they, they didn't get in in the pre-sale. And uh, then they can buy it. But obviously it's an inflated price or it's more, obviously, okay? Generally speaking, if it's popular, it'll do 2 to 3x uh, when it goes on OpenSea, okay? So that's how people are making money. They're buying these pretty fast on uh, when they open it up. Then they sell them, they flip them on OpenSea. Either straight away, or if it's a really good one, they'll just hang on to it and make even more money. Provided that it's a it's a popular NFT collection, okay. So NFTs are new to us. We're getting right into it, and if we scroll down to number ten, and this is why I'm kind of interested in this one. It says here, number ten, we will produce physical sex toys and integ integrate an e-commerce. So there you go. They're going to have sex toys with this NFT. So I'm th you know, thinking mm, maybe I might want to pick up one of these sex toys. Just joking, guys. Just joking. So check that out. Uh, link will be below if you want to get in on the pre-sale. With that said, not only do we do you know, IDOs, play-to-earn games, yield farming, and now NFTs, we do multiple things. Pretty much if there's a way to earn money in crypto, either one of us or many of us are already doing it in our Patreon group with a lot of new stuff that comes out we get into before the rest of the herd does. If you're interested, check out our Patreon link in the description below. With that said, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if, you're, if you enjoyed the content so far. I'll see you guys in the next video.